Okay, so Samsung released three tablets this year the S9, the S9 Plus, and the S9 Ultra. The S9 Plus is 11 inch, the S9 Plus, I mean, the S9 is 11 inch, the S9 Plus is 12.4 inch, the S9 Ultra is 14 inch, and the S9 and the S9 Plus can go up to 256 gigabyte, but the S9 Plus gets up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, and the S9 Ultra gets up to 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte SSD. But you can add a SD card. So let's check it out. What I have is the S9 Plus. So in the box, you get of course the tab, the pen, and the cable and some paperwork. So this is the paperwork, this is the cable that's included, there is no adapter by the way, that's really, so it's about two and a half meters. And this is the tablet itself. Of course, this is open because we put a screen protector on it. Okay, so it looks about the same as last year's, except the fact that the cameras, the camera housing does not exist. The camera lens are alone, just like the entire day of Samsung's design. The S series, A series, F series, M series, and the Z series all follow this design. So we got three contact pins over here. Samsung logo, sound by EKG. There, speaking of sound, there are four speakers: one over here, 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 and here. And yeah. By the way, the S9 Ultra is the lightest of them all. I mean, the thinnest of them all. And this is the pen. This time it can charge reverse. That does not mean the char the pen will charge the tablet. It means it can charge like this or like this. Man, it is really strong this time. Yeah, really strong. Okay. Let me just peel the stickers now. Okay, let me just set this up real quick. Oh yeah, by the way, SD card location is over here, up there, uh, that's SIM and this is micro SD. There are two versions of each and every single tablet, the 5G version and the Wi-Fi version. Okay, let me just set this up. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, with the S9 Plus and the Ultra, you get something free. The S9 Plus, you get the Galaxy Buds 2 and for the S9 Ultra, you get the free keyboard cover. So let me just okay. Here it is. White buds with black interior. This is last year's. This is this year's. Let me see how comfortable I am. Okay, now let me see last year's. Yeah, this year's is more comfortable, easier to put as well. This is this year's, this is last year's. You also get a cable with it. And you get this thing. more extra, I forgot what it's called, this thing. <laughs> Oh 
it's harder to put like unlike last year last year's one were easier to put this is last year's as you can see there's a line in between makes it way easier to put just put it in that's it but this year's no it's not like that by the way fun fact if you have a s series device your battery will be above 50 percent when you start it but if you have a series device it would be around 40 to 50 percent when you boot it up at, at first okay my mom doesn't want to transfer anything Except for the Galaxy Air Hold. You better turn on that mode. If you don't turn on, if you use light mode, get out. Okay, so the camera is the same as before. Everything is the same except that now there's the Qualcomm H2 4 Galaxy. So that improves everything. So, for example, this photo that I'm taking is quite good even though it's a 13 megapixel camera so yeah and I can also point yeah there's 0.5 with uh, 8 megapixel camera there's also selfie with 3 megapixel camera. That's the 3 megapixel. It's not cut out. It's in the bezel. Okay, now let me just try some games. Let me get Minecraft real quick. Okay, so this thing will get 4 years of updates. So that means right now it's an Android 13. So 14, 15, 16, 70. All the way to Android 70. Let me just put the pen back so you can put the pen here or here there it shows the charging symbol and if you're using the keyboard you can get this thing so if I just go on next so the moment you connect to the keyboard we haven't got the keyboard yet the moment you connect to the keyboard this is what it's gonna look like this is more of a desktop style so you get the quick setting it's over here like windows and notifications and all of that okay so we got a bit of bloatware not kind of like the tab is kind of hard to hold with one hand Okay, Minecraft is installed. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, when you're typing, you get control. So that means, say, you type that. If you want to delete it, control A. And then, you know, delete. It's more of a laptop style keyboard. So you can say control X, control A, control X, and then control V. Yeah. You can do pretty much everything using that. Okay, so... Oh, 121 FPS when running I'm getting 109, 117, somewhere around there which is really nice by the way Windows D is the same shortcut as what you'd get in Windows if you press Windows D or Start D yeah you'll get the same thing so now let's try putting a thousand TNT okay let's do this so 20 by 20 by 20 tnt okay so okay it's not bad
Other than that, there's nothing much for this tab. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. It's a WQHD screen and 120 hertz. So watching anything would be really nice. Watching any video is nice in here. Okay, so everything is quite color accurate. Of course, you can't see it as how I see it, but it's basically like a TV. Nice and bright. Okay, that's quite good. So now let's talk about the pen. Oh wait, if I put it all there. I put the pen all here. Okay. Um, let's go to notes. Yeah. And let's me try drawing something. Okay. Of course, you can't erase it in the back, but it's nice. And the thing is, it's similar to a pencil, like size wise, as you can see. And it's similar weight, slightly heavier, of course. But yeah. Let me try drawing something. There's a button here, unlike the other s -pens. Okay, so you can set gestures. Okay, and just like the SNFE, there is second screen. So basically, you can use this as another monitor for your laptop. Uh, I have a shot for that. I'll, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, overall this tab is nice. You can't wait until it's one UI six and you know tablets are gonna get really big improvements. But yeah, for now this is quite good. It's huge sort of So yeah, bye.